What up, motherfuckers? It's your boy, Jay Peasy. Man, we got a lot of action today over at Sports Money. We got baseball. We got NFL football is back. So, you know, there's a lot of action today. But if you're looking for a little side action on uh, the U.S. Open, man, I'm here to give it to you, man. We're looking at this women's tennis game today, man. And, um, man, I've given you guys a couple women's tennis bets before, man. And one of the things that I told you I look for when I'm betting on these women tennis players, because unlike the men, you really have to look at the mental tenacity of these women when they're playing these fucking matches, man. You got to look at the emotional stability of these women when they're playing these matches. And like, that's why I gave you Emma Navarro, the last tennis bet that I gave you, man, because she's got nerves of steel, man. She has a good game, but good game aside, if she goes down a set, if she is struggling with her serve or gets down or something, then she has the tenacity to fight back. And that's important when you're putting your money on a woman tennis player, man. You, you got to look at whether they're going to be emotionally capable of fighting through the adversity of the match that they're going to play, man. So, uh, yeah, love Emma Navarro, man, but I don't love her today, man, because although she's um, come through as an underdog and I bet definitely cashed on her, man, she's played those emotionally unstable tennis players, Coco Goff, Padosa, you know, Paula Padosa. Uh, That's why I'll never bet on those players. As good as they are, I'll never trust a Naomi Osaka. I'll never trust a Coco Vukov. I'll never trust a Paula Padosa. I'll never trust, you know, um, I don't trust them because when the shit hits the fucking fan, man, you got to worry about them being able to get through the game emotionally and they break the fuck down. I don't think Emma Navarro is going to break down. She's going to give it her all today, but she's not facing an emotionally unstable player today. She's facing a fucking beast, and I don't think that she has enough to get past Sabalenka today. Too juicy to just take that as it is, man. Not going to take the handicap. I love Emma Navarro. Sabalenka wins today. Looking at the other match to pair it up, to give us some nice plus money on betting this women's tennis today, man. We're looking at Jessica Pagula, and we're looking at we're looking at this Czech player, uh, Makova, whatever her name is, man. She's been playing decent fucking tennis. A lot of people didn't see her getting to the semis. She's been playing the fuck out of these games. I don't know if I want to um, say that she's emotionally unstable, but um, physically, man, you question um, coming off the injuries that she's come off if she's going to be able to cope physically in this game. Uh, but, you know, there's nothing saying that she won't. But those aspects that I look for in a player, you find it in Jessica Pagula. Nerves of fucking steel, man. She's not going to break down emotionally. If she gets down a set or a game, loses uh, her serve on a break, ice fucking cold, she's going to still be in the game. And you need that when you're putting your money on her. So um, I like Jessica Pagula today, man. Uh, so I'm going to pair those two up. Hate to uh, abandon Emma Navarro, but, you know, it would be beautiful. We got two Americans in the finals at the U.S. Open. But I think there's only going to be one, man. And it's going to be Jessica Bagula. And it's going to be Sabalenka in the finals, man. That's going to be a rough match. But this is Jessica Pagula's time, man. She's a little bit older than Emma Navarro. She's going to be <clears throat> able to uh, move on to the next level. This is her first semifinal. But I think she's going to be able to get past Makova today to get into these finals. Both of those players, Pagula and Magova, have not dropped the set in this tournament right now. So somebody is going to drop a fucking set for the first time once we get past that first set. And I feel like even if it's Pagula that drops the first set, she's not going to break down uh, emotionally to where she loses that first set and she's out of the game. I don't know if I could say the same against Makova. So Jessica wins the first set. God damn, I think it's going to be a lock. But even if she loses the first set, she's still in it. So I'm going for Pagula, going for um, Sabalenka, Pair those two together, you get some nice plus money, man. Not a not a fucking ton, man, but put them together. Get yourself like a plus 105 on the money line for both, man. It's your boy, JPZ, and I'm out.